So this is the definite final video for chapter nine, where we're gonna talk about double replacement reactions. Now we're gonna form unstable products. Okay, so three ion combinations yield molecular products that are not the products you would expect, okay? So we need to be alert when we see them and catch them when they appear. So for example, when you form things like um, these compounds here, okay, they're not gonna stay that way. They're gonna break apart, okay? So instead, if you see this, when you do a double replacement reaction, all right, and that's one of the products, you're gonna get these guys, okay? They're gonna break apart into these simpler, smaller molecules, okay? So when you see them, again, you just need to be alert when, ah, like when I got that product or when I get that product in a double replacement reaction, I need to keep going a little bit. I need to do a little bit more work and break it down into even further um, compounds, okay? So uh, I think on a, like the homework or um, it was maybe a quiz, maybe it was the test, actually. There was one of these problems uh, on there. Um, I didn't expect you to break it down into these simpler compounds, okay? But now that's something that we're gonna have to do, okay? So, and maybe that was a mistake on my part for putting that on the exam, but regardless, <laughs> it, it doesn't really matter. I don't think it, um, anybody was hurt by it in any way. But now, no, um, just if you see these compounds, we need to break them down into simpler compounds. Okay, so let's just do one example. And then we'll be done with chapter nine. So write the net ionic equation for the reaction that occurs when hydrochloric acid and sodium carbonate solutions are combined. Okay, so again, we're gonna write the conventional equation. So hydrochloric acid plus sodium carbonate, CO3, that has a two minus charge. So we have sodium carbonate, so I need two sodiums, okay? So there's gonna be two there. Aqueous gives me, so this is a double replacement reaction, okay? So we're gonna get H2CO3, okay? Aqueous plus sodium chloride. All right, again, we're not gonna stop there because this guy is one of our unstable products, okay? Right here. So we're gonna to continue to write this out. So hydrochloric acid, aqueous, plus sodium carbonate, gives me, and what is this gonna break it down into? water and CO2. So H2O liquid plus CO2 gas plus sodium chloride aqueous, okay? So this is our conventional equation. So now going down to the total ionic, of course, we're gonna break apart everything that is aqueous, unless it's a weak acid, which nothing here is, okay? So uh, we have, oh, but first, actually, um, I'm skipping a step here. I need to balance this equation. This equation is not balanced. So uh, let's see here. I have two sodium here, one here. So if I put a two there, uh, that works. I have uh, one carbon here, one carbon here, three oxygens here, one, two, three oxygens here, um, one um, hydrogen here, two hydrogens here. So if I put a two there, that balances that. Two chlorides, two chlorides. Now it's balanced. Okay, so skip that step. That's an important step not to skip. So I'll just erase all this. So that should be balanced now. And now I can write out the total ionic equation. So two, so we've gotten a lot of practice writing out these equations. So a lot of this should be pretty routine. All 
right, liquids and gases stay together. Oh, do I have room? Okay, boom. All right, so that's the total ionic equation, but we want the net ionic equation. So looking here, sodium is gonna cancel, chloride ions are gonna cancel, and what I'm left with is two H plus plus carbonate ion gives me H2O plus CO2 gas. All right. So again, you have to identify when you have an unstable product and be able to write, like I did here, uh, break it down into a water and CO2 in this case, all right? So this comes from that unstable product. So that's actually it for this chapter. And in the next set of videos for this week, we're gonna be talking about chapter 13, which is on the shapes of these molecules. But hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you over there in the chapter 13 videos.